Greetings all, Fanny here for Scorpio's Daily Oracle Message. Scorpio, I hope you're doing good. We will not be taking more than one or two, max three cards for the Divine Feminine deck because I want to give you a deep meaning of what these cards are saying. And I believe that this one card is all that you needed today. You have Rita of Kalisa, the patroness of Impossible Cause. I am miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibilities. Give me a moment while I read her story, my love. Rita is an incredible story of never giving up on what you want. She was very blessed from a very young age. She was born into noble, a noble family and had always had bees around her and they never stung her. And this was a sign to her family that she had been blessed by the Christ love. Um, even though she wanted to join a covenant, she was forced to marry and have her first child at the age of 12. And her husband was a very, was a wealthy nobleman that had many enemies. But through her prayer and constant love and support, she converted, converted him to Catholicism. And he made penance, but still was murdered for his past actions by the rival family. Their two sons wanted to enact revenge upon for their father, but died of dysentery much very soon after. At the age of 30, she wanted to join the monastery, but had to do so on, but would only do so on the condition the monastery had to have her fix the feud that her husband had. Even though it wasn't really her fault, she still had to fix that because that was her family. So she constantly prayed for the feud to end. And so with the bubonic plague that was ravaging Italy at the time, took several members of both houses, and those who survived ultimately decided that life wasn't worth feuding over, and they came to peace, and she was able to join the, um, the, the church at the age of 36. She was one of the patron saints, and at the age of 60, she had received a ray of light piercing her between the eyes. And she is a constant reminder in a prayer and affirmation that the law of attraction, mentality shapes reality, what you speak will be, is very much real. Things that seem impossible are probable with prayer, with action, and with your faith and dedication. So if it is something that you truly want in your life, Scorpio, if there is something that you want to go after, something you want to claim as yours, Pray for it. Make it yours. Affirm it that it is yours. And that constant energy that you are pouring into your thoughts, your energies, and your prayers will come back. Because that is the law of attraction. That is mentality shapes reality. That is karma. Whatever you want to call it, it is real. And she is the literal definition of showing what you want can be, even though how impossible it may seem. This family was feuding for generations. But through her prayer and whatever happened with the bubonic plague, they were able to come to peace. She was able to create a violent man and make him a man of God in whatever sense that that may have been. Now... I want to stress that I am not Christian. I do not believe in that faith personally. I believe in the man Jesus. I believe that he was real and I believe that he is a divine saint. I am just not a fan of his book club and the what has been warped to serve other people. But that is a message for another day. What I am saying to you here is that if you believe in that love, if you believe in that connection and the strength that you have as an individual, anything is possible, my dear. Have a beautiful day, Scorpio.